M1 has been optimized for our most popular low power systems where small size and power efficiency are critically important. It is a stunningly capable chip and it ushers in a whole new era for the Mac. M1 is a breakthrough chip for the Mac. Our approach with M1 was to deliver industry leading performance and features while relentlessly focusing on power efficiency. As a result, M1 delivers a giant leap in performance per watt, and every Mac with M1 will be transformed into a completely different class of product. M1 is the first system on chip or SOC for the Mac. Let me show you what that means. Until now, a Mac needed multiple chips to deliver all of its features. It had chips for the processor, I.O., security, and memory. Now with M1, these technologies are combined into a single SOC, delivering a whole new level of integration for more simplicity, efficiency, and amazing performance. M1 also features our Unified Memory Architecture, or UMA. M1 unifies its high bandwidth, low latency memory into a single pool within a custom package. As a result, all of the technologies in the SOC can access the same data without copying it between multiple pools of memory. This dramatically improves performance and power efficiency. M1 is the first personal computer chip built using the industry-leading 5 nanometer process technology. With incredibly small transistors measured at an atomic scale, M1 is remarkably complex. It packs the largest number of transistors we've ever put into a single chip. M1 has a massive 16 billion transistors, and we use all of these transistors to give M1 amazing performance and leading edge technologies. And our goal is to make each of these technologies best in class. The incredible performance of M1 starts with the CPU, which features two types of cores, high performance and high efficiency. Each performance core is designed to run a single task or thread as efficiently as possible while maximizing performance. We've been advancing it year after year. And now with the huge improvements in M1, when it comes to low power silicon, our high performance core is the world's fastest CPU core. And M1 has four of these incredibly fast high performance cores. So multi-threaded workloads take a huge leap in performance as well. To handle lighter workloads more efficiently, M1 brings high efficiency cores to the Mac. They use a tenth of the power while still delivering outstanding performance. These e-cores are the most efficient place to run lightweight tasks and allow the performance cores to be used for the most demanding workloads. And M1 has four of these efficiency cores, which on their own deliver similar performance as the current generation dual-core MacBook Air at much lower power. And finally, M1 has our latest performance controller that determines in real time where code runs for maximum performance and efficiency. Altogether, the 8-core CPU in M1 is by far the highest performance CPU we've ever created. And more importantly, it delivers this performance at the lowest possible power. In fact, the M1 CPU leads the industry by delivering the world's best CPU performance per watt. Let's take a look. Here is the CPU performance and power usage of the very latest PC laptop chip. And here's M1. M1 delivers significantly higher performance at every power level. And at just 10 watts, the thermal envelope of a MacBook Air, you can see that M1 delivers up to two times the CPU performance of the PC chip. And M1 can deliver the peak performance of the PC chip while using just a quarter of the power. This is a big deal. What you are seeing here with M1 is extremely rare. When you look back at the single-threaded performance of low-power silicon in the Mac, gains in performance per watt have been very small from one chip to the next. But when we look at M1, we see a massive three times improvement in performance per watt. This is unheard of. Now, what about graphics? We designed GPUs that deliver the maximum graphics performance in the thermal envelope of each of our products. This results in a balanced system with a GPU that complements the incredible performance of our CPU complex. Typically, PCs can't achieve this balance with integrated graphics. To get great graphics performance, they have to use a discrete chip which consumes a lot of power. M1 is different. With its integrated graphics, we get the best of both worlds, incredible performance and low power. The GPU in M1 benefits from years of thorough analysis of Mac applications. It's the most advanced graphics processor we've ever created. And with up to eight of these GPU cores, M1 is capable of executing nearly 25,000 threads at a time, from teraflops to texture bandwidth to fill rate, along with its incredible efficiency, M1's GPU is in a class of its own. 
Here is the graphics performance on power usage of that same PC laptop chip. And here's M1. M1 delivers significantly higher performance at every power level. With M1 delivering up to two times more graphics performance than the PC chip. And again, M1 can deliver the peak performance of the PC chip while using just one third of the power. When it comes to personal computers, M1 has the world's fastest integrated graphics. Now, Apple Silicon is more than just a fast CPU and GPU. We pack our chips with powerful custom technologies. M1 features our most advanced neural engine. With a 16-core design, it's capable of executing a massive 11 trillion operations per second. The entire M1 chip is designed to excel at machine learning, and tasks like video analysis, voice recognition, and image processing will have a level of performance never seen before on the Mac. Finally, M1 integrates our latest generation secure enclave. It's faster than ever and brings best-in-class security to the Mac. This is M1 Pro, the next chip in the M1 family, and it's a game changer. Now let's hand it over to Johnny for a deep dive into this remarkable new chip. The transition to Apple Silicon is all about bringing its incredible performance, custom technologies, and relentless focus on power efficiency to the Mac. And M1 has done exactly that. Not only has it transformed our most popular systems, it has shocked the PC world. M1 has been amazing for so many of our customers. However, there are some poor users who need even more. And we wanted to build something great just for them. That is what M1 Pro is all about. It's our next breakthrough chip for the Mac. Now, building a poor laptop has meant using a power-hungry CPU and discrete GPU. But the two-chip architecture requires much more power and cooling. It also means the CPU and GPU have separate pools of memory, so they have to copy data back and forth over a slower interface. No one has ever applied a system on a chip designed to a poor system until today. And we did this by scaling up M1's groundbreaking architecture to create a far more powerful chip with M1 Pro. We started by re-architecting the chip fabric to enable the SOC to scale, while doubling the width of the memory interface and using faster DRAM. This lets M1 Pro deliver up to 200 gigabytes per second of memory bandwidth, nearly three times M1. And its custom package supports up to 32 gigabytes of unified memory. The M1 Pro die is built using the industry-leading 5 nanometer process technology and features a massive 33.7 billion transistors. That's more than twice M1. All those transistors deliver even more performance starting with a 10-core CPU with eight high-performance cores and two high-efficiency cores, delivering up to 70% faster CPU performance than M1. For graphics, M1 Pro features 16 GPU cores, eight more than M1. These additional cores, along with increased memory bandwidth, give M1 Pro up to two times faster graphics performance than M1. M1 Pro has our industry-leading media engine that accelerates video processing while using very little power. And now it pushes even further with ProRes. It's one of the highest quality codecs in professional video production. Adding ProRes acceleration enables M1 Pro to play multiple streams of 4K and 8K ProRes video while using just a fraction of the power. It's another key advantage of building our own silicon. And finally, M1 Pro includes other advanced technologies for a complete Pro system, like a powerful engine to drive multiple displays and additional Thunderbolt controllers to deliver even more I.O. bandwidth and so much more. So that's M1 Pro. Building on the M1 architecture, M1 Pro takes the amazing performance of Apple Silicon to a whole new level. M1 Pro is unlike anything else in a Pro computer. Yet, we wanted to push the performance of Apple Silicon even further. So today we're launching not one, but two new chips for the Mac. I am thrilled to introduce M1 Max. This incredible chip builds on M1 Pro and takes its amazing capabilities to new heights. M1 Max starts with a much higher bandwidth on chip fabric and doubles the memory interface once again. This delivers up to 400 gigabytes per second of memory bandwidth. 
That's twice M1 Pro and six times M1. This wider memory interface lets the M1 custom package support up to 64 gigabytes of unified memory. And its die has a staggering 57 billion transistors. That's 1.7 times M1 Pro and 3.5 times M1. It's the largest chip we've ever built by far. M1 Max has the same powerful 10-core CPU complex of M1 Pro and doubles the GPU to a massive 32 cores, giving M1 Max up to four times faster GPU performance than M1. And it has an even more capable media engine with up to two times faster video encoding and two porous accelerators. M1 Max delivers all of this with industry-leading performance per watt. For Apple Silicon, power efficiency defines system performance. That's why M1 is a breakthrough. When you look at its multi-core CPU performance versus power curve, it continues to crush the latest four-core PC laptop chip. M1 is phenomenal. And when you add an M1 Pro and M1 Max, they deliver dramatically more performance. To put that in perspective, here is the latest eight-core PC laptop chip. M1 Pro and M1 Max have higher performance at every power level. At their peak, they deliver 1.7 times the performance of the PC chip in the same power envelope. And at the peak performance of the PC chip, they deliver the same performance at 70% less power. That's a big deal. Now here's the GPU performance versus power curve of M1. And here's the integrated graphics in that eight core PC laptop chip. M1 easily outperforms it while using significantly less power. So when we add an M1 Pro, it's in a whole different class. At its peak, it's more than seven times faster. Now, many PC laptops add a discrete GPU for better graphics performance. So here is a PC laptop with a powerful discrete GPU. M1 Pro delivers more performance while using 70% less power. But that's not all. There are compact Pro laptops that have higher performing, yet very power-hungry discrete GPUs. They deliver strong performance, but they consume a ton of power. And on a notebook, when you consume that much power, it means more heat, noisy fans, and less battery life. So let's look at M1 Max. It delivers comparable performance while using 40% less power. Now let's compare M1 Max to the chip running in the fastest PC laptop we could find. It's a high-end system that is much bigger and heavier than a Compact Pro laptop. It delivers even faster graphics performance, but it also consumes a massive amount of power. Here, M1 Max delivers similar performance while using 100 watts less power. This is unheard of, and this remarkable efficiency means M1 Max performance is outstanding, plugged in or using the battery. If you look at the Compact Pro laptop on battery, its graphics performance drops significantly. M1 Max is up to two and a half times faster. And if you look at the high-end laptop when it's on battery, the drop-off in graphics performance is even more extreme. M1 Max is over three times faster. This is one of the huge advantages that Apple Silicon brings to our poor users. So that's M1 Max, scaling up the M1 architecture even further. It's by far the most capable chip we've ever built. Simply put, it's the world's most powerful chip for a pro notebook.